Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. As you can see my Paddy Island Pleasure Park, I thought I'd give you a quick update. Now this morning I woke up to umpteen messages telling me that there's rides for sale at Paddy Island Pleasure Park. So I thought I'd come down and give you some information. So the first one is the top hat, or the, as they call it here, what do they call it? Let's have a look. Viva Mexico. Yeah. It's uh well recently refurbished. It hasn't really had a lot of use since it's been refurbished, to be truthful. But yeah, it's artwork. This artwork is wicked. I like it a lot. Perfect mate, perfect. So that's for sale. Don't ask me how much. I haven't got a clue. You need to contact Henry for that. Yeah, so that's the first one. Next up for sale is the uh, this Dodgem here. I do believe it's this Dodgem, not the other one. Yeah, but it doesn't come with any cars, so you need to supply your own cars. And the third ride, the ride I am most shocked about, is the Octopus. I don't even know whether it's been open. I know it's got all its certificates and all that. It's, it's passed all the safety doodahs and that, but I, as far as I know, it's never been open to the public. It haven't long had the sign fitted. They bent that back at the moment. That's just to avoid the wind, as you can see that pulls forward. But yeah, it's all been refurbished. Inside needs a sweep out. But yeah, it's in full working order. So that's the one I'm shocked about. And the reason these are for sale is to make room for the new rides. Now I spoke to Henry yesterday and I, I can't say too much but he has given us an update on Saturday. I'm meeting up with him Saturday and he's gonna try and find out as much information as he can on the dates of the new rides that's coming. And uh, yeah, but it's, it's really, it's exciting guys. It really is exciting. But the one I can tell you about is obviously the Dodgems. I think I've already mentioned the Dodgems and a couple of the other rides I've already mentioned, but Henry is gonna give us a full update on Saturday. Further news, they're renewing the timbers on the roof of the carousel. Yeah, I was quite shocked about that too, because they haven't long put that together, have they? But I suppose it's not until you get it together and start using it and you think, well, we just as well change this or we just as well change that. But yeah, thankfully that's staying. There's one of the new timbers there, look. This is where they've been working on them. It's all been treated and they've put all the uh, clasps and everything back on it. Yeah, and that will go back onto the carousel. Also, there's more work being done on the log flume. Um, there's a new walkway, I'll show you now actually. Okay, so as we look at the log flume here, I don't know whether you remember, but you used to come down the stairs there and they used to return down this side. Well now they've built this walkway here and that's gonna return all the way along here. So that when you're queuing, you'll be literally, you will, you will enter the ride that end where it's low and you will queue along here. And this is the sort of height you'll be here, look. So when you're queuing, you'll be able to see the people riding. That's cool. So I think that's a brilliant idea because obviously when you're queuing then for the ride, you know, you can see people enjoying it. And it was a bit like that with the old one because when you queued, you went over the top of this bridge and uh, you could see the, the people getting on and they were, yeah, so I think that's a really cool idea. But they still got this, these couple here. I think there's four of them in total that wasn't painted. Um, so they gotta be done. But one mistake they made when they were painting this this top section here, as you can see there, it's all lovely and blue. Um, and they forgot to paint the back. So that's gotta be done. But look at this guys, everything, every every single bolt is brand spanking new. Look, every single bolt, brand new. And I gotta say, it looks absolutely brilliant. Also the top scan, work is still ongoing on that. And see this here, big hydraulic arm that was on there, they've removed and it's going away to be refurbished. It took them days to get it off. Apparently it's never been removed before since the ride was built. And uh, yeah, it's given them a right bit of jip. But it's on the back of the lorry now. We've just seen it, Henry's just driven off with it. And I'll show you what it is, the other, this is the other side. As you can see, there it is there, look. It's the two main hydraulics. And they're both being removed, one at a time. And they're going away to be well, I don't know, whatever they do to hydraulics to make them like new again. But by the time they finish with this top scan, I got a feeling it's gonna be like a new ride, you know? It was it was fast the last time I rode it. But despite everything that's going on here, 
the fairground is still open on the weekends. Obviously weather permitting, and definitely still worth a visit. I'm gonna fall in a minute doing this. But guys, I thought I'd give you a quick update. That's all I intended to do, because I am actually waiting for a parcel to come, so I, I had half hour, so I thought, right, let's get down and show you guys around and uh, explain about these rides. Don't forget Henry, Saturday, that's something to look forward to. He's gonna be explaining exactly what we got coming this year and hopefully giving us some more dates on when things are arriving. So there's lots to look forward to here at Barry Island Pleasure Park. But that's me out of here for now. Thank you for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Bye. Don't you spend no leave long.